reduce, reuse, and recycle. As children, we're taught the extreme importance of these concepts, but they seem to have faded away as we've grown older, with society focusing on innovation while disregarding sustainability. However, there is now a green shift occurring in several industries, with popular consumer brands such as IKEA, H&M, and Nike emphasizing and marketing their sustainable repurposed products. And at first glance, this seems to be a step in the right direction, but is simply a facade put on in order to mask the grave carbon footprint that is being left on our planet. To put this in perspective, annually, enough plastic bottles are thrown away each year to circle the planet four times. In fact, 265 million metric tons of waste was thrown away in the US just last year. Out of this waste, 32% was recycled, while nearly 80% could be if the waste was recycled properly. This accounts for more than 125 million tons of CO2 emissions. Our planet can't take this any longer. Something needs to be done, and that's where we come in. The primary problem with recycling is that the average consumer doesn't understand which items are recyclable and which are not. And the fact is, most people don't care enough to find out. GreenX is an innovative social enterprise that aims to educate society on proper recycling practices while reducing our carbon footprint. Our flagship product is an automatic waste sorter that determines whether items are recyclable or not, using artificial intelligence with over 90% accuracy. The process is simple. A consumer places the item in our bin, then a conveyor belt moves the item after determining its recyclability. But how does it work? It just seems too good to be true. And that's where the real magic is. We created an artificial intelligence classifier that is powered by an optimized convolutional neural network, aka machine learning magic. It's trained using thousands of images in predetermined categories that were scraped, normalized, and colorimetrically converted to grayscale to improve model accuracy and generalization while reducing complexity. Basically, this makes it nearly impossible to confuse the classifier. Now, let's dive into how the physical machine functions. A high quality camera feeds input feed into a microcontroller that is located inside the container. This input is used to analyze the user's waste with the machine learning algorithm. Then, it sends this result to the conveyor belt's motors through the use of GPIO pins. With the use of our precise 3D models, we're able to 3D print both the conveyor belt and the external housing container in various sizes for the different needs of our co consumers. By creating GreenX, we've created an entirely new blue ocean industry. Now, our competition is trash, quite literally. We're competing against the typical metal waste container that hasn't been innovated in over a hundred years. The problem with the competition is that it doesn't tell the customer what can and cannot be recycled and has a monotonous, boring user experience. Now, we plan to eliminate the need for manual recycling sorting while raising the utilization of technology and functionality of the trash container. By doing so, we reduce our carbon footprint by reducing the amount of waste deposited in landfills. Although we plan to price 10 to 20% more than the competition, we justify it based on the benefits in our EERC model. However, our system is radically different than the Red Ocean competition because we educate users on proper waste practices and provide companies with the marketing tool while saving the environment. Now, manual waste sorting is an inefficient job that costs companies hundreds of dollars in hourly wages. GreenX will help these waste collection companies automate waste processes, saving them time and money. These companies will be our ideal initial target market. After this, we plan to expand and market to environmentally conscious companies such as Nike and H&M. By doing so, these companies will enhance their public image as they are making a genuine effort to preserve our world and in turn generate more business. The first tier also includes public facilities such as malls, airports, and schools. Now, our tier two market of non-customers includes small businesses and companies that don't feel as if they need our product. Finally, we believe that the largest target market will be a personal product for, for homeowners. Out of the 100 homeowners we surveyed, 93% said that they would purchase GreenX for a personal product. And using the 3D model we previously mentioned, we'll easily be able to convert GreenX from a commercial to a residential small-scale product. Here at GreenX, our mission is to educate society on proper recycling practices and reinvent the way we see recycling. So who's ready to join us and take an important step toward preserving our beautiful planet?